Hi, my name is Leo Groß and I work for IBM Research Zurich. We reported um, a molecular skeletal rearrangement by atomic manipulation. So why is that important? It's actually important because it brings us one step closer to really making custom synthesized molecules using atom manipulation. So that is adding and removing single atoms with the tip of our microscope to create arbitrary molecules. Second thing is, in this case, we use that to make um, molecular wires, linear chains of carbon atoms that are sp hybridized and thus show a high conductance. So let me quickly explain what we did here. We obtained precursor molecules from our collaborators at University of Oxford, which looks like this. We put them on the surface and then at low temperature and ultra high vacuum, we use our microscope to dissociate bonds. And the first bond we dissociate is we take off one of these bromine atoms. Importantly, the microscope that we use, the atomic force microscope, allows us obtaining images of the molecules of the different reaction steps. So we can obtain an image before we do the reaction and then we can obtain the next image after we removed an atom. So that is the AFM image of the molecule before we do the manipulation as the chemist synthesized it. And then this is the AFM image of the molecule after the first bromine is detached. That is a molecule formed after the first reaction step in which we dissociated one bromine atom. The bromine atom now moved somewhere else on the surface and at its former position we now have a single unpaired electron making the whole molecule a radical. As you see we still have an angle formed by these two legs and now we will induce a second reaction step which is the skeletal rearrangement. We will detach now the second bromine and then the carbon that sits in this position will move into the linear chain connecting these two phenyl rings. And this will lead to a straight linear chain. And with this we change the connectivity of this carbon atom that was before outside the chain into the chain. So this is again the AFM image after the first reaction step, sort of the intermediate of the molecule. And now if we take off the second bromine and also remove the both bromines fr um, from close to the molecule, we obtain the final product, which is this polyene with a linear carbon chain. So this is how the structure of the final product then looks like. We have now this linear carbon chain, which consists of alternating single and triple bonds. And in the AFM image, you could see the characteristic bright contrast Due to, this, due to these triple bonds. And we don't, didn't only make this um, molecule with three of such segments called triine, but we made also longer molecules up to octaine, so eight of such triple bond segments. And now we did these molecules on sodium chloride, which allows also their characterization in terms of their um, electrical properties. And here we use scanning tunneling microscopy to measure the different transport gaps of such um, linear molecular wires created on surface. 